Hey, I'm Mike from Pumaplow.com. This time on Back to the Crayons, we're gonna color a cat that's in a barrel. That's weird, right? So grab your copy and your crayons and meet me back and uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. This one is obviously called Barrel of Laughs. It's a cat or uh, maybe a fox or something inside a barrel. So I don't get to use my really dark browns very often. As a matter of fact, I can't even get to the crayon I want over here. Yeah, we'll use this one. For some reason, it's called sepia, even though sepia is when you do the black and white thing on photography. But whatever. So, oh, that's a good, that's a good color. So we'll use this to do the barrel. It's got those straps across it, you know, to keep barrels together, like you know, all barrels have. So those will be a different color. A lot of times in real life, those are like a silver, or a, I've seen them in gold sometimes. So we'll figure that out here in a second. After we do all this barreling. This is some good oak wood from the forest of uh, Kentucky. This barrel was made used to make um, like whiskey or bourbon down in Kentucky. Big business down there. And then when they get done, they only, I think they only use them once because it takes years to do that. So when they get done, they sell them. And uh, we bought this one. And the cat got into it, silly cat. And here he is. Cool thing, I used to live down in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. You gotta say it like that, otherwise people are like, you're not from around here, are you, son? And you're like, no, I'm not, sorry. But anyway, um, cool thing I ever saw was a distillery caught on fire. And the barrels were, you know, getting hot and breaking and whatever. And there was like a river of bourbon I mean, not like a river, but like a stream of bourbon running down the, the like the grass, and it was on fire. It was the neatest thing I've ever seen. And it took hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of firefighters to put that fire out, because a lot of alcohol. Obviously, it's all flammable. So it was quite the fire. And it was millions and millions of dollars of losses. So not fun in that aspect of it hoping they had insurance because otherwise it probably would have put them out of business and the cat's back okay that's enough brown put that one back in its corner spot where it belongs we'll make the stripes the color I tried to use earlier when I dropped a crayon in one of the other videos this is the most uh, airtime Vladimir's had in a long time go on no not that way that way go Good boy. okay so these straps will be this is just regular gray. Oh no! Gray broke! Dude! Oh no! I can't believe it broke. It must have broken when I dropped it earlier. So, uh, hang on a second. I'm not gonna bother sharpening it because we'll just make our own point. But let me peel this crayon back a little bit. Okay, that'll work. So now we have just a... <laughs> this is the dumbest looking crayon ever. Anyway. My box does have a sharpener on the back of it, this box of crayons, but... Uh, we'll just grind our own little point into this thing. And then after this video, I'll, I'll put a proper point on this thing. But yeah, it must happen when I dropped it a couple videos ago. It happens. It doesn't color very nicely like this, though. I can tell you that much. I feel like I'm trying to write with a pencil that hasn't been sharpened. I guess it's kind of what it is, you know, not being pointed. Okay, there's the stripes. This crayon's just going to sit out because it's broken. Um, okay, what color is our cat going to be this time? We haven't used blues much. I think we're going to have a blue cat today. 
That's not weird, right? I'm thinking a good dark blue like this one, which is... Blue! No fancy name. Just real blue. I think he's the cat of the Smurfs. Although, really, this is a little dark for the Smurfs, but still. I'll have to get some green out for these leaves and stuff that are around him. But we'll do that in a minute. cat would be this blue, but it sounded like a fun color to make him. Okay. This crayon might be broken too, actually. It feels kind of soft in the middle. And I haven't dropped this one, so it would just be defective. We'll go with a blue head on this guy too. Make him a complete like alien looking cat. Except for the eyes and the nose, of course. We'll make those a different color because I stand out a little bit, right? Okay, let's put the blue away. We're gonna go to the pink, like always, for his tongue. Apparently all animals have a pink in, have pink inside their mouth, whether it's their tongue or their lips or whatever. So we'll do that. Pink nose. And how about some, what goes with blue? Yellow goes with blue really well. Yeah, let's go with this one. Just dandelion. Or Diente de Leon in Spanish, for all of our Spanish uh, followers. Oh, and we gotta do the grass. I almost forgot the grass down there. Let's find a grass green. This one looks pretty good. It's probably just green. Nope, it's yellow green, of course. That would just be silly to be regular green. This is like springtime grass, you know? It's, it's just kind of early in the year, a little brighter than normal. That's what this one is. Our uh, barrel, barrel of laughs. I almost said barrel of monkeys. That'd been way wrong. That's the barrel of laughs. So if you liked it, please comment, rate, and subscribe. 
And until next time, I'm Mike from PumaFly.com. See you.